Well, hello, y'all. Here to give y'all the reading for the week. So let's start out with a little prayer meditation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, the glory, and the honor. Amen. Our Mother, which art upon the earth. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in us as it is in thee. As thou sendest every day thy angels, send them to us also. Forgive us our sins as we atone all our sins against thee. And lead us not into sickness, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the earth, the body, and the health. Amen. I say as it is spoken, so shall it be. All of those things... And let us go ahead and get started. If you guys caught the short that was on YouTube, then you saw that we shuffled some of these cards earlier. The committee deck, these six cards popped out. That is why we currently have this spread here. These are going to be messages from the ethereal realms, the realm of the ancestors. These are spiritually cultivated messages, okay? These first ones coming out. We'll see what else happens as time goes on. But for right now, that is what is going on. And the first thing we come in is the feminine card. It, well, before we get there, let's start with our signifier. Our signifier says enlightenment. Okay. We got 21,000 as the number. We're looking at the planet Saturn. Okay. Saturn is lessons, limitation, old oh man of the zodiac, and all of that. This particular card, it says it's a can translation is uh, like scantily the cat does not like filth. Okay, so This is card 49. It says, Enlightenment is the virtue 
Okay. And it is. I guess this one don't have... Oh, there we go. Alright. It says... Scancity is like a cat. It a poor feel. So, you know, it is a moon day. So, clean up. Okay, you find your enlightenment as you clean up some things. I don't know whether that's just energetically or spiritually, but I guess we will find out when we get out into this reading. So we come in with the number 13. That is the devil medicine card. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the death card. Okay, um, this is um. A card that's talking about a lack of choices, uh, passive acceptance, and um, um, you can see me. I can see this. Okay, there we go. And failure. Okay, because it is in reverse. Usually, the death card coming up is usually not a bad card. We talking about Scorpio energy and things like that. Inside of the book of Coming Forth by Day, though, it says, Grant me vessels of milk together with cakes, loaves of bread, cups and drink, meats in the temple of a pool. What is going on that that you 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 asking for a request and it's not it's not being granted? What is happening? Okay, it says Anubis is the uh, Original Egyptian god of the underworld, okay? He's the first funerary deity. Powerful judge, raised the heart of the traveler against the feather of my eye. He is, is the final test on the journey to our root, okay? It says, although he is the god of death, he's not malicious, all right? So don't think that because change comes or death comes that is it's always a bad thing that is not the case, okay? Um, he don't punish, okay? But it is his job to do what needs to be done as far as judgment goes when it comes to serving souls and, and sending them into you know the afterlife in the, uh uh yeah for eternity, okay? He's just standing there. Either you're going to go into the gates of happiness or you're going into the gates of oblivion. Either way it go, he is the gatekeeper, okay? So, his job is to make sure that the souls that get to go continue with life, okay? Y'all know, because remember, hell is to be out of the presence of God. Not necessarily this place of fucking torment. The place of torment, I believe, is earth. And it's also a classroom of retraining of the mind. Okay? But his is to make sure that people are worthy of ultimate rebirth and transformation. So if you've been waiting on some shit to come through and it ain't coming, the reason why it's not coming is because you have yet proven yourself worthy of the things that you are asking for. Okay? Um, And, you know, once you have shown spirit that you are worthy of this thing that you were asking for, then maybe you can have that thing. The next card that comes up in the reading is the Three of Scepters, which is the Three of uh, Wands. Again, it's also reversed. So, coming in the week with all these damn reversals, okay? Um, anytime we see these 
um, um, what you call this? These scepters, okay? We automatically talking about moving things, making things go, an action that needs to be taken, okay? So, this one is also in reverse. Whereas you got upright, he got his shit together in, in a traditional deck. Okay, this is the now. So, you know, the now, like, provides everything. Everything, if you know anything about Egyptian culture or whatever. But on a traditional deck, he would be watching his ships go by and holding the world in his hands. But with this being upside down and in reverse, we talking about somebody that is on a kind of shaky foundation. This card is an anxiety card. And it requires tactical thinking and remembering things that went on from the past, okay? And making sure that you're not um, making those same type of mistakes and things like that again, okay? So, in this particular deck, is the woman she's standing on the end of the table with the back turned, okay? Um, she's looking over the river, and all she sees is opportunity, okay? The other two kind of challenges and opportunity, okay? She got three uh, scepters. Now, one of them is a lotus, okay? All of them are firmly planted into the ground. She's holding the lotus scepter, though, okay? And this is her commitment to grabbing opportunity. So, one way you can open up them roads, okay? Because... This all it's saying is the roads is blocked. The way you can open up these roads is to show spirit that you are willing to maximize and utilize the opportunities that spirit has already given you because you come in with the nine of pentacles. You want your monies, okay? But it is still in freaking reverse. So how you gonna get that nine of pentacles to turn up right, okay? It says the reason why you are doing this, it's because you're running away from shit, and you is being scared. You don't got time to be scared, okay? The nine of um, pentacles is actually about a happy, happy, happy life, all right? <clears throat> In this case, it's the nine of scarabs. So, this is talking about debt. It's talking about loss of assets. It's talking about uh, looking back, not paying attention to things. And, you know, basically being a servant to others. You just doing, just been doing reckless shit. That's why you can't get shit. You've been doing reckless shit. Stop doing reckless shit, okay? It's, she, she well-dressed, but she well-dressed for what? She, buy, she got her best friend clothes on. These are hers, okay? Yeah, this not hurts, okay? The, the, the financial stability is not really what is there. That's not what you see. That financial stability that is being portrayed and put out there is a lie because you're making reckless fucking decisions instead of focusing on what you need to. And that's why the Most High is not giving you exactly what the hell it is that you asked for because <laughs> you need to show better, all right? So, we get down here and we... Or upright. So let's, let's see. We got Amin Ra coming up <laughs> in the four. So this would be the emperor, um, I believe, in a traditional day. But we're going to make sure Amin Ra the emperor. Yep, correct. So the emperor is all about that stability. Y'all know we in Aries season. So Aries, turn up. If you Aries, Aries, this is definitely sticking out for you. Message got a word for you. In the book of Coming Forth by Day, the scripture that is around this card says, There is the, this is the sacred God, the Lord of all gods, Armin Ra, the Lord of the throne of the world, the Prince of Act, the sacred soul who came into being in the beginning, the great God who lives by right and truth. Okay, so this emperor like energy, this male energy, this leadership figure, you might want to go ahead and pay attention and listen to what this person is saying to you, okay? Because what they're saying is not going to be wrong. It's probably going to help you out 
in the long run because that's what they're there for. The emperor don't necessarily is not want to necessarily um um spare your feelings. Okay, he said what he said and he meant what he meant because everybody needs to be good. Okay, okay. So everybody needs to be good, and in order for everybody to be good, you need to tell that line, and he is there to make sure that you tell that line, baby. Okay, so if you find this male feed that is there for you, you need to listen to them. If you got this going on, if this reading is for you, then you come through with the four of swords. The four of swords ain't nothing but Libra energy, balancing out them thoughts, taking a risk and a break. You need to really sit down and think about what it is you're doing, but stay ready to move. Stay ready to 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 to, to get shit popping if need be. Okay. Um, because <clears throat> you need to sit down and actually think about some of the decisions that you made and some of the things that you had to do and where it is you're trying to go and exactly how it is you're going to get there, okay? Because, um, just continuing to move is not boding well for you, okay? Not good at all for you, all right? If you keep going like you're going, not only is you not going to acquire the things that you want to acquire, you're going to end up being sick, okay? That's why you need to sit down, think about it, take a break, rest, stop bopping around so damn much. Sit the hell down so much. In this particular card, you got a mummy lying on the slab in the burial chamber, fully wrapped in bandages, his hands across his chest. This is significant to reference a star, Okay? Above him, by three months old, is pointing in his head with stress and fear. Aimed at his direction. The man can't even rest in peace because he is stressed out over him. Take a break. Quit stressing about stuff. You know how they say ain't nothing to it but to do it? There ain't nothing to it but to damn do it. You just got to do it. Okay? A single sword slides uh, beside the mummy on the path, signifying the end of a struggle. On the wall behind him, the hieroglyphs for mother and child are printed on the wall. Symbolic of warmth, weapon, welcoming, and availability of supportive nurturing. Okay? So, it's not like there is not support in a way for one to avoid mm, all this heartache and shit. It's just a matter of actually wanting to do it and putting the stress away. Actually, just sitting down. A lot of people find it really difficult to just sit down. Sit down and be still, okay? Sit down and be still. You ain't always got to be doing something because everything you're doing is reckless and it's messing with your goddamn funds, okay? Now, I'm it. This is two. Um, I would say that is the high priestess, but you don't look very high priestly to me. Two of Cups, I believe. Y'all give me a second. I'm talking to I gotta uh, get used to these. Yep, that's the two. All right, so two of cups speaks up. That's not a cup. What is that? It's purple, purple, major arcana, armies. Hmm. I don't see him nowhere.
So my mind is like blown right now. I have no idea what this card is. Okay, so we got the two of scepters. That is not a scepter. Two of scarab. And then we go right into... Okay, so eating demon goddess who ate the hearts of the unworthy... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Is <laughs> he... That that's what she is, okay? And she ate the hearts of the unworthy. So if you ain't got no heart, you ain't going nowhere. Okay? That's the end of you. So if you don't make a good decision, Pippin, okay? If you don't sit your ass down and get your shit together, Pippin, whoever this is for, um, you looking at destruction. Alright? You is looking at destruction. Sit your ass down somewhere. Just gone and sat down. Sat down. Okay? Just sat down. It ain't even worth it. Okay, that's supposed to be an 11. Okay. <laughs> and so it's justice. God, dog. A justice card is about being impartial and things of that nature. Again, we, we dealing with that air energy. Okay? So, I'm like, that look like a two. Y'all, I'm crazy. That has been justice the whole time. But it's a lot of major arcana energy up around here. So, this is going to be some things that we're going to be dealing with for a while, it would seem. But this is talking about consequences of fairness. Uh, law, legal disputes, life lessons, cause and effects. Okay. So, amid the value of souls is personification of divine justice and retribution. That's the head of a crocodile, the body of a lion, hind parts, hippopotamus. Three of the largest deadliest man eating creatures known to the Egyptians. It is she who eats the hearts of the unworthy, condemning them to eternal damnation. But only those who have been found unworthy out of their hearts weigh on the scales in the great heart of my hall of my eye. She represents the final word in justice. A by traveler's heart is judged to be unworthy on the scales of Mayak. A man enters justice is satisfied by devouring his heart and condemning him to eternal damnation. This card is interchangeable with the justice card. Well, well you know, I already know that. A man stands for the foreground in front of the lake of fire in the barren lands of Amenta, the western lands of the dead. All right, so <clears throat> ill and okay, so I don't know if this so, so far it's looking like this applies directly to whoever this resonates with, okay. But we're not done, we got other cards to pull and we got other books to read, okay. So we're not done, but our overall message is you've been doing regular shit and that's why you can't get what you asked for, okay. Um, but if this is Reckless shit that has been done to you. Okay. Understand justice will be served. And, but if this is you doing the reckless shit. Understand justice will come to you as well. You are not exempt from justice. Okay. Now. We're going to go ahead. We're going to see what our immediate ancestors got to say. About this. Man. There go our cards. Oh we got two. These both of them in reverse. Boy, we got some reversals today. So we got the daughter of sticks and the three of knives. And knives. Okay. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> so. Daughter of Steve, which would be the Knight of of Wands, okay? So, Garlic and Fenugreek. It says, the Daughter of Steve is rearing up on a horse in order to change directions, okay? The flock of birds above forming an arrow indicate that this is the best course of action. The Daughter of Sticks is all about getting pumped up to get the job done and maintaining that high energy until the very end. On the positive side, she's passionate, 
determined, bold, free-spirited, charming, revolutionary, self-assured, and loves to travel. On the negative side, she's hot-tempered, abusive, overly competitive, insecure, loud, boisterous, jealous, a show-off, and a habitual procrastinator. In the reading, if she doesn't represent the literal person with these qualities, then she represents these attributes. Look, recklessness, boom, there you go. You want to know what she was doing to be reckless? There you go. What is those things? Again, I'm going to say it again. Hot-tempered, abusive, overly competitive, insecure, loud, boisterous, jealous, a show-off, a habitual procrastinate. Okay? Um, These are the things that is stopping you from getting what you need. That's why your rose is blocked up. Okay? Now, the three of knives, which is be the three... Of, of of swords. Now, usually, I would interpret this as a relationship. I this this ain't got nothing to do with no relationship. So we are gonna go over here and see what 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 she got to say. So we talk about eucalyptus. So this is a recipe to help clean your shit up. All right, eucalyptus is one of them healing plants. All right, it help the mucus membranes and all that type of stuff. It says a wounded person lies against a bottle, a bottle tree with broken bottles as a stray dog urinates on their loved one's grave. Okay, so we 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 talking about hurt, heartbreak. Um, the bottle tree, you know, that is to keep the spirits away or trap spirits. It was a, a thing of protection that was done. In the South, you can still see this type of stuff around North Carolina, South Carolina, in the Carolinas, and those parts of, of the South. Those are still things that go on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, Triple Ouch. The Southern tradition of creating bottle trees is Africanism from Congo people who believe that spirits could reside in bottles. The idea was to capture any negative spirits in the latter sunlight to destroy them and done. The creek myrtle tree grows throughout the south and was considered sacred by many root workers because it represents rejuvenation in God's promise to the faithful. Okay. Heartbreak, emotional trauma, betrayal, rejection, devastation, loss, alienation, um, serious disrespect, necrosis, grieving, painful endings, lonely, sickness, negative self-talk, exhale, goodbyes, bad breakups, awful news, unwelcome change. All right, these are the things that's going on with this damn three of, 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 of knives right here. Three of swords coming through. Also, add that to there is the reason why you, the, the, if you needed tangible things, look, if this shit apply to you, be honest with yourself. All right, go on, be honest so you can go on and fix that up so you can get your rows open because that's why your rows ain't open, baby. That, that's what's happening. Rose ain't opening because it, it's not nobody else. Really, it's not looking like nobody else. It's looking like you. It's looking like you. You are the cause for all the destruction or the lack of progress that is happening with you. Okay? These is hard to suffer, baby. So... <laughs> Y'all, these these things so hard to show because they so freaking big. Okay, we come in with the Eight of Wands in reverse. The Eight of Wands is a card of speed. Okay, it's something coming very quickly. But we got all this stuff out here talking about um um 
all this failure and all of this stuff. So what's coming so darn it fast? Huh? What is happening? All right. So, um, you got to start making the right choices. And once you make the right choices, it's going to come to you and it's going to be great. We talk about that Sagittarian energy. Look at the tree. Look at it. And it's a red tree. So, let's see what's really actually fully and completely going on in there. We talking about the Eight of Wands. And this is talking about harmony. Okay, it says the world tree on the forecourt of Yahvashim in Jerusalem is a symbol of possible peace among nations on earth. In the most general sense, it represents the harmony within a family setting or work environment or even in inner harmony achieved after a period of discomfort. The message is to better yourself. Even though sometimes we feel alone, we are not and can never be. Because human beings are animals that can only live amongst their kind. The peoples of the world are very different from each other. We with different experiences and thoughts. Just be open to welcome your neighbor and endless possibility of friendly, professional, and emotional relationships are open to you. Open and fair dialogue, constructive discussions, report, sincere Collect projects, commercial or financial investigation, wrong projects, dislike, hidden aversion, conflictuality, dispute with relatives or co-workers, risk of separation. So, again, things can go really, really good for you or things can go really, really bad for you depending on the decisions that you make this week. If you feel stagnant, is because you are a procrastinator and you are a... And, and putting out all this negative energy. This is the enlightenment that you need for the week. So if you needed enlightenment as to why things were not going the way you needed them to go, you just found out. So you know how to get your week started and get things the way that they need to go. So I hope y'all enjoy this and um, y'all stay on the To yourself, divine. To yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time. And introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time. And introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time. And introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time. And introduce you to yourself, divine. Please have time for past life and introduce you to yourself.
myself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself. Divine. Please have time for half life and introduce you to yourself.
myself. Did I? These high times have passed by you and introduced you to yourself. Did I? These high times have passed by you and introduced you to yourself.